While the British Tories don't even know whether they are still conservative or not, the Canadian Tories, led by Pierre Poilievre, are doing quite well against Justin Castro Trudeau. Uh, this latest video I'm going to show you, this was at a pro-Jewish uh, rally in Canada, and uh, Poilievre uh, decided to show and teach Justin Trudeau and how to actually stand up for people who believe in life and freedom, and those Jewish people who live in Canada. And of, yeah, of course, they want to support Israel because Israel is under attack. Let's go to this video together because I think it's very important to let people know about basic education and being informed. Shalom. Shalom. Bring it home. Let my people go. Yeah. It is an honor to stand with you here today, friends of humanity. Jews, Gentiles, people of all backgrounds, Canadians, all people of decency, to stand against the homicidal, genocidal death cult that is Hamas, a death cult that must be destroyed so that we can free the hostages and restore peace for all. I'm joined by the great common sense conservative candidate, Roman Baber, who is on the stage today a proud Jew and a strong voice for his community and for all communities. Six months ago, plus one day, on October 6th, what did we have? We had a ceasefire. What did we have? Hamas was governing in Gaza. Israel was not even in Gaza. Israel had withdrawn its population and its forces from the Gaza territory and Gaza was ruled over by the iron fist of Hamas in remote control by the tyrants of Tehran, the dictators in Iran who've been supplying Hamas with its weaponry, its logistics and intelligence. And Israel had kept its borders relatively soft so that Palestinians could even cross the border and work on the, on, on the Israel side, bringing home a living for their family. And in this atmosphere, where there was a ceasefire, where Gaza was not controlled in any way, shape, or form by Israel, an unprovoked attack was unleashed on October 7th, designed to, com to commit the maximum human and civilian devastation in acts of cruelty that cannot even be spoken from this stage with sadistic delight by those who undertook them. The Israeli government and the Israeli people had not only the right, but the obligation to defend themselves and to fight back and lead to the destruction of Hamas. And here we stand, six months later, families continue to be tormented by the loss or captivity of their loved ones. Many have already been killed. The biggest attack on the Jewish people since the show up and may all those that have been lost may their memories be a blessing to us all may they not have died in vain may we have the courage to stand with them abroad and, 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 and may we also have the courage to stand up against the violence and extremism at home I believe in freedom of speech. I believe in freedom of expression. I believe you can express any opinion that you want, whether or not it is one with which I disagree. But that does not include the right to firebomb synagogues, to harass Jewish school, school children, to go outside of Jewish hospitals and terrify the patients coming in and out. That is not freedom of expression nor does it include the right to finance, recruit, and organize for a terrorist group. We know that these uprisings, these anti-Semitic outbursts in Canada are not spontaneous. They are well orchestrated. They began almost instantaneously after, after the October 7th attack. And we know that there are 700 IRGC terrorists in this country who are legally operating. This is the same terrorist group
that murdered 55 Canadians by shooting down PS Flight 752. And yet, all these years later, they are legally operating. 700 of their agents are legally operating. Justin Trudeau, shame on you. Now, common sense conservatives will continue a relentless campaign to fully criminalize the IRGC and all the related terrorist organizations. We will fight to remove the bureaucracy to get funds to protect shuls against violence and terrorism so that you can be safe in your places of worship. We will stand up and fight back against anti-Semitism on our university campuses. And we, on the global stage, we, we will always be a voice for peace. We do believe in the eventual creation of a Palestinian state living in peace next to a Jewish state. That said, that said, we know that the only way for that to happen is for the full destruction of Hamas. We must destroy Hamas. We must return the hostages. And we know that the, the Jewish people, the Aboriginal the, the Aboriginal people of Israel who have been on the land for thousands of years will be there thousands of years from now c celebrating Purim, celebrating Shabbat, celebrating Passover, and the voice and the echo will always go out. Am Israel Chai. Thank you very much.